It's been a full day now since Multiverses has relaunched, so let's go ahead and talk about the good, the bad, and the ugly. So to start off, the Multiverses relaunch overall was very massive. A lot of players across multiple platforms, and it was just overall, like, it, it brought a lot of people back, but it also brought a lot of new people in. Right off the bat, they made the controversial decision to go ahead and release it on console a few hours before PC, just to kind of make sure that servers were running smooth. And honestly, I think it was, was a very smart move. I think it was very smart to go ahead and split it up, make sure it's not all at once because of how big this launch was. And it's just a couple hours, like we'll forget about it in a couple days. And you know, like the, the world's not gonna end if you have to log in a couple hours later than everybody else. So right off the bat, I feel like that was a very smart decision by PFG. And I think it was a very, you know, successful choice. Now, naturally when any big game goes online, there's gonna be glitches, there's gonna be bugs, there's gonna be all kinds of things going wrong, right? And, but overall, I think it wasn't like too, too bad. Uh, there were some bugs, you know, where people were getting kicked out of games, um, where the game would just like not load, basically, you had to keep restarting. Um, there's some other bugs going on like with characters and stuff like that as well. So it's, it's nothing like out of the ordinary, you know, it's, it's, I'd say it's pretty expected for that to happen. Overall, the servers, at least for me, were running pretty smoothly, and I know for a lot of people, you know, it's running pretty good as well. Um, so nothing like too crazy out of the ordinary, I feel like. I think in general, the goal with this relaunch was to go ahead and bring a lot of players back into this game. And I think, you know, from that standpoint, I think it was a big success. Now, the question is, after, you know, being offline for over a year, did this game deliver expectations as far as the changes that we needed to see? And for that, we're going to go ahead and dive into it right now. So right off the bat, I think the interface looks way cleaner than before. I think it honestly, I, I kept saying this yesterday during my stream, but this honestly just kind of looks like that Fortnite layout. Like just the whole setup right here, it, that's what it reminds me of, which I don't think is a bad thing at all. I think it's actually very clean. You know, top left, we have all our daily rewards, daily missions to kind of get through. You know, top right, we kind of have all these like little news things, right? Go ahead and log in, you know, get your premium pass, all that kind of stuff. Um, down here, you have all the game modes and everything as well. And then you kind of have yourself right here in the middle where you can also invite your friends and play with them. And overall, it's like pretty easy to kind of figure out where everything is on this home menu, at least. The one thing I wish was like maybe a little bit bigger was the game mode feature right here. Um, I, like I honestly was very confused at first, like trying to figure out how to get to the training mode. Um, just because it's not really a game mode, I guess. It's kind of its own separate thing, I feel like. So having that in the game mode section kind of hidden here, um, didn't make the most sense to me, but you know, it's just one of those like small little picky things that I have. But as you kind of go through the tabs here, you see all your different characters here. You can easily go to your account cosmetics, change all of that up as well. Got your battle pass after that. Got all the different events, missions, all that kind of stuff, you know, store. And then finally at the end, you have your career. Overall, the interface is pretty smooth. It could be a little bit confusing at first for sure, but I think like there's a lot of content here to, to kind of show off and everything. So I think having it the way that it's set up right now, it makes a lot of sense. One of the other bugs that was kind of unfortunate for this first day is um, basically just people not having their stuff in game. And this kind of affected me too, um, where I know for a fact I had some skins that weren't showing up. They were showing as, you know, locked. Uh, I know some other people were having issues with characters in general. Their characters were all locked, even though they had them unlocked in the beta. Um, so I know there were like some bugs like that, which over time have been fixed. Um, as I was playing, I saw skins being added. Like this one right here was added as I was playing. So I think they're still kind of fixing that as well. But again, that's kind of one of those, you know, launch day kind of bugs that, that I would say is, you know, to be expected. Another thing that I saw some people having a problem with was the shop prices, which are kind of outrageous, not gonna lie, but I think it makes sense. It's nothing like too crazy in my opinion. When you compare it to games like Fortnite, you know, for the bigger, the better skins, um, they are kind of pricey in general. Um, so you can kind of compare it to that, you know, in my opinion, like it's not very far off from that. Um, and it is a free to play game, you know, the battle pass keeps funding itself, right? So you don't have to put money into the game after you get your first battle pass, really. Um, so this is all kind of just extra stuff if you want it. So I don't really have a problem with the prices for the store. Now, one thing I do kind of have a problem with, or I just kind of don't really understand, um, it's just all the different kinds of currency. Like I kind of talked about it before where, you know, they kind of talked about how they're splitting up all these different currencies, which, you know, it, I guess it makes sense. Um, I just feel like it's kind of a lot, you know, for a newer player. I feel like just all these different rewards and like six different types of gems and you know, all this kind of stuff. I feel like it can be kind of overwhelming. So I don't think that was the best choice in the world. Um, you know, especially like with the cosmetic things, I don't really understand that, but um, I mean, we'll have to kind of see how it plays out, I guess. It just feels like there's like a lot going on. 
And one of the other new features that we got was the new Rifts mode, um, which is kind of a brand new PvE kind of mode here, which again, I've kind of talked about before, you know, I think it's important to understand that um, there are multiple player bases that play this game, right? There's competitive players, there's casual players, there's people that just play the game because their favorite characters here. Um, so I think it's good to have options, right? I think it's good to have different modes and different things like that. For me personally, I don't think the Rifts mode is really for me. Um, I haven't played it a whole lot, honestly, but it seems kind of boring. Like it seems like very straightforward um, and not very difficult to do. Uh, I, like I said, I haven't played much of it, so maybe it gets harder as we go. But um, yeah, like it's not, not, not really for me, I would say. But I, again, I do think it is a great addition um, for more casual players or you know people that are looking for kind of a story mode kind of thing. So I think it can be a great thing for them. It does kind of suck that you have to grind this out for certain things in the game, but at the same time, it also makes sense. Now enough of all that, let's go ahead and get into the gameplay itself. What has changed? And unfortunately, this is where we go from the good slash bad to kind of the ugly. Now to start off, one of the big issues that a lot of people have with this is the local gameplay, which is one of the main points that I said needed to be very good uh, with this relaunch of the game. So one of the problems that I've seen kind of with local gameplay, it doesn't really affect me so much because I have everything in the game because I played the beta and had everything unlocked and all that. Um, but basically, if you don't have the characters unlocked, then they stay locked in local gameplay. So that means if you just got the game or whatever, and you want to play offline, you know, with your friends, your family or whatever, all the characters are going to be locked. And this is a change from the open beta because previously everything was unlocked, including perks and all that stuff. And so it's kind of just a poor choice in my opinion, because, you know, obviously if it's unlocked in local gameplay, that means you can't play online with this stuff. So I, I see no harm in having everything available. If anything, I feel like having everything available and being able to play the characters that are locked will kind of incentivize you to spend money and buy those characters so you can play them online. And so I really don't understand the decision to go ahead and lock all the characters that are locked in your game um, instead of just having them unlocked for local gameplay. But you know, it's, it's definitely a choice that they made. So we'll see if that changes in the future. Another downside to today's launch was the lack of the ranked mode. Um, I think a lot of people were expecting ranked on day one and it just says coming soon. Um, I can understand why they didn't do ranked. They want to make sure that the game runs smooth, right? If there's a bunch of bugs and glitches, why would you have ranked? So people could just abuse it and rank up basically. So it makes sense why there's no ranked mode. Um, it's just kind of sucks that we don't know when it's coming. It just says coming soon. So I'm sure we'll get an announcement at some point, but it's kind of unfortunate that they just, I mean, it's just, it's like I'm getting deja vu to, you know, um, when the, the beta launched and they promised ranked for like months and months and then they eventually gave it to us. So I just hope we get something soon. Uh, hopefully they at least tell us when it's coming and, um, I'm good with that, you know. The other thing that I have a big issue with is the training mode. I feel like this training mode is awful. It is also kind of bugged out. Um, I don't really know how to fix it entirely, but somehow they took the training mode from the beta and made it worse in my opinion. This feels very awkward. Like if you try to pause and change things, like your character just freezes in place and then like, like if you want to like lab combos or something and change percentages, you have to like manually click, but you can't go back. So like you have to like click through the whole menu here until you get to a hundred and then it resets back to zero. And then it like freezes for a second and then you get back to here. And then it's like still bugged because I'm at 10% and I should be at zero. So let me change that to five. And then now it works, but then it just, it, it's just, it's bad. <laughs> It just feels kind of like awkward and like clunky and just like the way that the menu kind of freezes up like it, it just does not feel good for a training mode and then you really don't have a whole lot of options like <laughs> like if you don't find what you need over here you can go up to training options and <laughs> these are your options right here and that, that's about it like there's really not much else to it i guess so i'm hoping we get a better training mode because this, this kind of sucks but as far as the gameplay itself, um, the two big things that I've seen mostly, uh, really one of them, I kind of have a problem with the other one. It's not too bad for me. Um, the one that I don't care about too much, the game is slower than the beta. Um, and it does feel different because it is slower. It doesn't bother me too much. Um, I think it's kind of a good pace. I wish it was a little bit faster, you know? Um, I think it's one of those things where we'll kind of get used to it over time. So it doesn't really bother me too, too much. But I know for some people that kind of, you know, it's not really the game for them because of that. But the other thing I have a big issue with is um, the character sizes, which I didn't think would be an issue. Uh, they made the characters a lot bigger, which, you know, in, a, in and of itself isn't, you know, a horrible thing. 
But the problem is, is this camera zoom. Like, when you're playing and you're up close like this, the camera zooms in so far. And like, I don't know how to explain it, but it, it's just, it's bad. <laughs> it's something that I think they're working on. I think they said they're gonna kind of fix it or change it up. Um, but it's definitely something that like, like day one playing was like, okay, this is like noticeably pretty bad. Now it's obviously something fixable and I think they are gonna change it. I don't think they're gonna change the game speed. I think it's gonna kind of stay where it's at. Um, so I'll be interested to see how like the camera changes and everything, um, just to kind of see what we get in the future. But yeah, that's kind of just the main thing um, gameplay wise that kind of bothered me was just how big the characters are and with the camera, like how it kind of zooms in and kind of just takes away from the gameplay, I feel like. But as far as the characters themselves go, like every character that I've played so far, um, they've definitely gotten some changes. They feel kind of, they feel like the same, but they also feel very different, right? So like, for example, I play Tom and Jerry. Uh, one of your main things here is paddle. It's a great like combo tool and whatnot. And now it's like not as good because there's so much end lag to it. So you can't really go for the stuff that you used to go to. So it kind of forces you to play the character a little bit different, right? And I feel like a lot of characters kind of have that stuff where it's just a couple of changes where it kind of, you know, forces you to play the character different, um, kind of figure out combos and things like that. And so it feels fresh. It feels, you know, very fresh in that sense. But hey, that's enough of what I think. Let's go ahead and see what some of the community thinks. Let's go to Reddit, everybody's favorite place, and kind of see what people were talking about after day one of multiverses. Here we go, everything that changed for the worst from the beta period. Starting off with gameplay. No more grounded neutral air. The camera zooms in far too often, which is what I said. No leaderboards, I didn't talk about that, but they did get rid of that as well. Uh, no after battle report, aka damage done. Ring outs, yeah, they got rid of all that stuff actually. And you can't see who accepted or declined in the match. Yeah, that's true. Two v twos, you can't see, you know, who accepted or declined. It just kicks you out basically. And also, it kind of locks you into one character. Otherwise, you have to like switch out and, and do that whole thing, which I, I kind of like, but not really. So, yeah, that's another big change too. So, really, this post right here has a lot of my same thoughts. This right here, character restrictions. Another thing I kind of talked about. This is actually kind of where I saw it. Um, <laughs> uh, oh, is it the same for training too? I didn't even know that. Is that the same for training? That's actually insane if that's the case. If you can't even test out the characters before you buy them, that's actually kind of wild. Yeah, that's, that's a pretty bad change, not gonna lie. I just, I don't understand that, man. I really don't. I understand they need to make money, but like, if I can't try out the character before, I'm not gonna buy it, you know? This is an actual picture of a zoomed in game right here. This is how the game looks. Uh, I can confirm because I have played a lot today. That's actually how it looks. Yeah, man, it's like a lot of people kind of talking about local play. And, and this is one of the things that I said, like, really needed to be good. And it really is a major disappointment, honestly. I just don't understand, like, the decision behind that. Yeah, a lot of people keep mentioning the scoreboard thing, and I can definitely see why that's annoying, you know? It's just one of those things that, like, I feel like a lot of games are kind of taken away, you know? Um, to help with like toxicity, which I don't think it does anything to be honest um, It's just one of those things where you're playing the game to have fun you're playing it to do good and whatnot and so When you can't even see how you did it's just like what's the point, you know It is kind of crazy man Like they it feels like they removed more than they added to be honest as far as just basic stuff goes Like yeah, they added the roof smooth. They added all that kind of stuff I'm talking about the basic stuff though. I'm talking about like a decent training mode Like this is stuff that I, I've been talking about this post right here pretty much sums it up <laughs> Am I crazy or did they spend a year and end up removing more features than they added? I mean when you put it that way, I don't know man. I really don't know how to feel about it to be honest like I feel like I feel like we're gonna have to wait and see how this thing plays out, to be honest. Um, I think overall, like I said, the launch went pretty well. I think people were excited for the game, were hyped up, got lots of content planned and whatnot. I just think that they did take away a lot of key features that they should have kept. Um, but who knows? You know, it's day one. I'm not gonna overreact with it, right? I know they're gonna add more stuff, I know they're gonna change stuff, so I'm not too worried about it. But it is a little bit disappointing to see some of the things that, you know, were basic, you know, features in the game, uh, in the beta, I should say, uh, to see those taken away in the actual game is a little bit disappointing. But again, the gameplay itself, to me, feels pretty smooth. It is a little bit slower, and the camera angle thing is a little bit weird, but I think they are gonna fix that. But overall, I still had a lot of fun playing today. I look forward to playing all week, pretty much, and yeah, I mean, the gameplay itself is fun, and that's kind of the most important thing. 
But go ahead and let me know in the comments what you guys think and how your first day of multiverses went. Let me know if you plan on playing the game more or if, you know, some of the changes kind of killed it for you. I don't think there's too much to worry about. It is a little bit disappointing, but, you know, over time, I'm sure they'll fix things. And if not, then maybe we'll get another relaunch. But yeah, I'll be streaming all week. I'll be doing some tournaments later on, playing as viewers, all that kind of stuff. So if you want to hang out in a live stream or something, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. That way you can notify when I go live. And also let me know in the comments what character you've been grinding. Me personally, it's been Tom and Jerry, of course, but let me know who you play. Hope you all enjoy some more multiverses and I will catch you all in the next video.